Hello everyone, apologies for my absence. I recently finished with my undergrad degree and I got married. I will likely make a video covering it into more detail in the form of a vlog, but for now enjoy this Aurelia vs Fiora matchup guide. Also, if you're interested in watching me stream, I am going to be streaming every day on Twitch, so feel free to drop by and, you know, ha ask me any questions if you have any. First, I will cover Aurelia's win conditions and then Fiora's win conditions in this lane. It is a lane that heavily favors Fiora, but it is not impossible to win it by any means. Aurelia's strength over Fiora in lane is that her auto attack range is larger. She's also able to Q away from Fiora's W, which is her main win condition. Aurelia's sustain is more reliable, and her build path is more flexible. For example, Fiora is heavily reliant on Tiamat to do anything. Fiora's key strengths over Aurelia in lane are that her Q is on a short cooldown, allowing her to harass Aurelia and avoid her damage. She outscales Aurelia quickly after level 11. Her W counters Aurelia's Q, E, and ult, and her damage is relatively higher if she can continuously proc vitals. As Aurelia, the main levels that you should be looking to fight are from levels 2 to 11. If you do not build at a significant advantage in Fiora's level 11, you should look to avoid any all-ins against Fiora. And for runes, I recommend this page against Fiora. For my primary, I have Conqueror with Triumph, Legend Bloodline, and Coup de Grasse. For my secondary, I have Bone Plating and Revitalize under the Resolve tree. And for my tertiary, I have 10% attack speed, 9 adaptive force, and 6 armor. As you can see, up until this point, I have been relatively passive and I have allowed her to push me in because Aurelia loses to Fiora at level 1 due to the continuous vital procs. So I do recommend letting her push you in because what that allows you to do is when it's under your tower, you're able to stack up your passive, and as it bounces back, you're actually able to get a level lead on her because. Your minion wave will be killing the enemy minion wave faster, which means that you will have more minion XP on your side. So we'll see how this I play this out, and remember I also avoid her W to make sure that I maximize my chances of beating her. Even if she does not parry any of your abilities, getting hit by the parry is really bad because it cripples your attack speed, and it allows her to get easy vital procs because it also slows you down. Now I have my full passive almost stacked. Make sure to also abuse your auto attack range so that you can get more conqueror stacks before you actually all in Fiora. And like I mentioned earlier, always make sure that you avoid her parry, whether it be by using your Q on a minion or flashing away from her parry. There's no right away as long as you avoid it. You can even sidestep it, but in that case, I thought I was going to get hit by it no matter what, so I had to flash away from it and then kill her after. It looked like she would probably die to my Q anyway, but I didn't want to risk the fact that she might hit another vital, and also still had flash, so I wasn't sure how she would play it with, even with that much HP. Fiora's W is an ability that you cannot really underestimate. Once you're ahead of Fiora, don't be afraid to freeze the lane. Aurelia is excellent at freezing the lane, which allows you to make her miss more XP and gold, and also allows you to keep your passive stack without pushing the lane as much. So right here, she'll try to fight me because she has a creep wave advantage, but I abuse the fact that I have gold over her, and also the minions allow me to easily avoid her parry and win the trade, or win the all-in, sorry. So those are the key things, using your auto attack range and avoiding her W, either by your Q or your flash. Just always make sure you don't get hit by it, even if she does not parry anything significant. However, make sure that you do not underestimate Fiora. Even if you're massively ahead of Fiora, being without a minion wave is a death sentence if she catches you without it. If Aurelia does not have a minion wave, it's really hard for her to access her passive, especially if her ultimate is down, like it is here. I did my best to juke her around and try to run away, but it did not work out, unfortunately. So make sure you always have a minion wave around if you're going to be fighting her. And if you don't, make sure you have your ultimate up so you can get your passive. And if you don't have your ultimate up, do not even go near Fiora, even if you're massively ahead. And if you're wondering why I can get my E's on them without them parrying it, it's because I'm being sneaky with them. As you can see, I, get, I got my E out as soon as she queued in there, so she wasn't able to react with her W. And if, even if she gets her W on your E, as long as you avoid it, you should have no issues killing her. And after level 6, uh, don't be afraid to all in her even if she parries your E because you still have your ultimate to get a Q reset with. So if she parries it, just make sure you avoid it and then ult her and then Q in. 
I know that she's level 5 here still, and I'm level 6, but even if she was level 6, this trade wouldn't be close at all. Uh, especially because I built up an advantage from before. But as long as you trade your E for her W, or get your E on her, and then Q away from her W as she's using it when you're all inning her, you should always win this lane until she hits level 11. And as long as she does not poke you out early levels, or continuously pokes you out with Q before you can all in. Her win condition is poking you down with Q until you can't all in her anymore, but if you can all in her and have minions to outplay her with, you should almost always win this lane, at least until she gets items and levels. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you subscribe, and if you want to watch me live, feel free to follow me on Twitch, and if you're wondering, the first Fiora player was a Fiora one trick, and the second one was an autofill. The person that was a one trick in the video is Master Tier, and has been Challenger in the past, so I thought it'd be a good example of the lane. As long as you're sneaky with your E and avoid the W, you should be able to win this lane most of the time. Thank you.